Welcome everyone to another Mindset Monday. My name is Janelle Briggs. I'm a mindset and business coach and today I want to talk with you about a way to handle stress and anxiety if you are dealing with someone else's problem drinking or alcoholism. So I shared not long ago about, on my Instagram stories, about an organization that I volunteer with and have been involved with for about the past four years, and that is Al-Anon Family Groups. It's a worldwide organization. Um, I am involved with the Australian um, section of this organization here in Melbourne. And I wanna share with you that I recently took up a position on their executive committee and it's all about digital strategy and helping them with public information outreach. When I shared with you about my experience with Al-Anon, I did a little poll to ask whether you would like more information and an astounding 94% of you said yes. So here we go. First thing I want to share with you is that all of the information that I'm sharing today, I have learned through Al-Anon family groups. There is a saying in Al-Anon, which I love, which is take what you like and leave the rest. Meaning you may find one little golden nugget of information that resonates with you today, or you may find nothing at all. And that's okay. Every Mindset Monday, my aim is to help you with new concepts, new ideas, new ways of thinking to help shift you in perspective if you're ready for it, if you want it, and if you're willing. So this is the information that I want to share with you. First things first, there is a pamphlet that Al-Anon has and it's a 20 questionnaire that says, are you troubled by someone else's drinking? If so, then Al-Anon is for you. Millions of people are affected by the excessive drinking of someone close. The following 20 questions are designed to help you to decide whether or not you need Al-Anon. So I'm going to read those to you now. Question one, do you worry about how much someone else drinks? Two, do you have money problems because of someone else's drinking? Three, do you tell lies to cover up for someone else's drinking? Four, do you feel the need, that, do you feel that if the drinker loved you, he or she or they would stop drinking to please you? Five, do you blame the drinker's behavior on his or her companions? Six, are plans frequently upset or canceled or meals delayed because of the drinker? Seven, do you make threats such as, if you don't stop drinking, I'll do X. Eight, do you secretly try to smell the drinker's breath? Nine, are you afraid to upset someone for fear or to set off drinking behavior? 10, have you been hurt or embarrassed by a drinker's behavior? 11, are holidays and gatherings spoiled because of drinking? 12, have you considered calling the police for help in fear of abuse? 13, do you search for hidden alcohol? 14, do you often ride in a car with a driver who has been drinking? 15, have you refused social invitations out for fear or anxiety? 16, do you sometimes feel like a failure when you think of the lengths you have gone to to control the drinker? 17, do you think that if the drinker stopped drinking, your other problems would be solved? 18, do you ever threaten to hurt yourself to, or to scare the drinker? 19, do you feel angry, confused or depressed most of the time? And 20, do you feel that there is no one who understands your problems? If you would answer yes to three or more of these questions, then Al-Anon or Alateen may help. And I will help you with a little bit more information. So I wanted to start off with that because it's really good to get a sense check on how you're feeling um, dealing with someone else's drinking in your life right now. So the first thing I want to show that alcoholism is actually a disease that is affects up to four people within the family unit. There are many types of alcoholism. You know, traditionally we may think that an alcoholic is perhaps homeless or someone that is sitting in the gutter drinking from a brown paper bag, but that is not true. You can have high functioning alcoholism, which means it's a person who drinks excessively and uh, still holds a job, still has a roof over their head, still is a community member of society. Um, you can have, and I have met a woman who was a binge drinker who only drank maybe once a month or once a fortnight, but when she drank, obviously it was an excess and it was about the behaviors that were associated with her drinking and the damage that she did when she did actually pick up that drink. You may find someone who is a problem drinker who has only two drinks a night um, or maybe only a couple times a week um, or every day of the week. So, so I just want to be clear, Al-Anon is not about helping you to decide whether a person's drinking is alcoholism or whether they're a problem drinker or not. Al-Anon is about helping you to recover from the effects and the behaviors and living with another person's, you know, it could be a friend, family member, could be a um, partner, it could be a child, you know, whoever it is around you, helping you to recover from the effects of someone else's drinking when that person's drinking has become a problem for you.
So the truth is, is that the problem drinker has a compulsion for alcohol and is unable to stop. No matter whether they, they try to stop, no matter whether you give them an ultimatum to stop, whether they go cold turkey, they typically cannot stop without the help of either rehab or AA or um, some form of guidance to be able to release that compulsion to drink. So as a person who is not an alcoholic, sometimes this is hard to understand. Because we can take and have a, go out and have a good time, have one or two drinks and say, okay, I'm good. Or we go out and have a big night and then we don't want to have a drink again, you know. Um, and I know it seems odd. So I just want to share with you that what I've learned from listening to a lot of AA podcasts is that the person who is the problem drinker literally has is unable to stop drinking. They cannot say to themselves, okay, I've had one drink and I'm ready to stop now. It's literally a compulsion. And what I've learned is that a lot of times they wake up the next day from the effects of their behaviors the night before and they're filled with guilt and shame. And that guilt and shame causes them to have these deep-seated emotions, no matter what's happened in their life, past hurts, things that they've done wrong, blacking out, and it's easier for them to pick up a drink again, rather than dealing with the pain and turmoil and the disappointment that they've caused in a lot of people's lives. And I hope that kind of makes sense. I guess the most fundamental piece of information and knowledge that Al-Anon has shared with me is what they call the three C's, and it's an acronym. And the first thing is, is that you didn't cause it that often these things are a family disease and it's come down from generations or the behaviors have been learnt from generations prior before, okay, where the healing and, and the breaking of the chain hasn't been done. So you didn't cause it. The second thing is that you actually can't control it. Often alcoholism, we are so powerless because there is that deep-seated compulsion and there's really nothing that we can do or ultimatums that we can do to try and get the drinker to stop. They have to want to do it themselves. They have to take the steps and do all of that work themselves, which is often a barrier and really hard. And the last one is, is that you can't cure it. It's not something that anything that you can control or cure within you um, to help this person get well. Yes, you can support them. Yes, you can point them in the right direction. But at the end of the day, you can't cure it. And so where does that leave you, I guess? This is where the stress and anxiety piece comes in. And the main thing for you to focus on, which is what I talk about every single week, is that you focus on healing you. You focus on healing that hurt, those wounds, that pain. You focus on building your confidence and your self-esteem so that you can handle what's going on in the world around you, having to deal with another person's drinking. So how does Al-Anon work? Okay, so this program is, they have free meetings all over Australia. The meetings go, um, and online now as well, due to the pandemic. Um, they have one and a half hour meetings every day of the week, multiple times a day. It's completely anon anonymous. They will only ask you for your first name. You do need not to give you know, any information about where you live or what job you have. They actually don't want to know any of that. Um, you don't talk about your profession and they don't ask you whether you drink or not. It's a program to help heal yourself and heal the relationships in your life by doing first things first, you starting with you. There is a volunteer chairperson at each meeting who chooses a topic and that topic of the day is um, they read some literature and they ask other people who are in the group to share. You are welcome to share if you feel called or you don't have to. You can sit and listen. No one is going to tell you what to do or what not to do. This is a safe space for you to come and learn and grow from other people's wisdom and there is a lot of wisdom in the room, I can honestly tell you. Um, there are some guidelines and steps to follow but everything is just a suggestion. There are no rules um, and lastly it's a spiritual program so it that just means that there is no it's not attached to any religion or sect that everyone is welcome no matter what your background is or where you've come from the only qualifier is that you have been affected by another person's drinking so so if you are feeling anxious if you are feeling the stress and the ramifications of the behaviors of someone else that you are living with or in your world right now and you are feeling like they may have a problem with drinking, then I hope that you um, find 
a way to be able to reach out uh, to Al-Anon and it really is a support group and they are here to help as many people as possible to um, just learn and understand and get back that connection with them so with yourself and so I'm going to post the links to this incredible organization below this video if you have any questions please feel free to DM me I would love to share with you more um, and I'm wishing you all an incredible week